My name is John Shade. I'm a professor in the Biology and Environmental Studies departments. You know, when you're at a big university, it's about your own productivity. That's what matters, because the reward system there is about publication and getting grants funded. Here, we're talking about what's best for the student. And it's a lot easier for us to cooperate and think about interdisciplinary work when that's the goal. How are we going to train students the best to think critically and to do work and to contribute to answering questions and solving problems? My name is Steve Cannenberg. I am from Minnetonka, Minnesota. I'm at St. Olaf with the Great Biology Program and I love to do research on methane in wetlands. My advisors for the summer were John Shade and Jean Porterfield. John Shade is what is known as a biogeochemist. So he is an ecologist and Gene Porterfield is a geneticist here. There's something about undergraduates that they come into these projects without fear. They're just not daunted by the scope of a project. They will get excited about something and they'll just say, I'm gonna do this. They're willing to take risks. And I think there's something special about a place like St. Olaf College in that respect. I think the main difference between doing research at a place like St. Olaf versus doing research at a larger university or larger organization really is the interaction that you get with professors. I mean, this is pretty much their main project over the summer, so they're here to kind of guide us through it or push us in the right direction and here to interact with us and here to really shape us as scientists. The key in all of this is developing good, strong hypotheses. And that's what I want them to be able to do, to have the mental skills, the habits of mind that allow them to do that. Because then they can go into graduate school. They can go off to colleagues that I have that are really interested in our students. And they can uh, do high-level, cutting-edge, first-rate research at those places and make a real contribution to solving environmental problems. I think the main surprise of this summer was that everything worked out perfectly. Um, we didn't really have any major setbacks. All of our um, experimental designs worked out all the machinery worked perfectly and our data was unusually clean for an ecology project and it all really fit together nicely. I'm Steve Kandenberg and I'm an Oli.